Hey, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel where we talk all about gentle products that are friendly to your skin. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, please consider hitting subscribe anytime during the video. Today, I have another epic empties video for you. I have about three months of empty skincare to share with you. I mean, look at all of this. <laughs> you know I needed to do a video because there's no more space in this container. So I've got a lot to get through. Give the video a big thumbs up and let's jump right into it. This is the La Roche Posay Thermal Spring Water Mist. And you know, I always say this is fancy water in a can. And yes, it is. You know, I will say before I ever tried thermal water like spray, I really felt like it was kind of gimmicky. I was very skeptical of it because is it really just water in a can? And it is water, but it is a water that is supercharged with minerals and vitamins, pre and probiotics for the skin. So this offers very light hydration to the skin but it's helping with your skin's microbiome. It has like a soothing effect to it. It's great for after sun care. It's great for after the gym, after you've been sweating, after a shower, or just to kick off your skincare routine with a little healthy shot of vitamins and minerals for your skin, right? So once I tried it, I was converted. I really enjoy it. It's not a necessary step, but it's a step that I enjoy. And um, I definitely have quite a few backups of this product and um, I'm gonna keep using it because. I really like it. The Keep Cool and Soothe Water. This is a micellar water. This is something that I would use in the morning for a really nice gentle cleanse. This really isn't my favorite micellar water. Um, I have actually one in here that I'm a way bigger fan of that I definitely do recommend. So this Keep Cool micellar water, not something that I would purchase again or use again. Um, nothing like glaringly wrong with it. This is more of a preference of mine, but this micellar water has a little bit of a soapy effect on the skin, which I just don't really like. Even though um, I personally always rinse my micellar waters off, I know not everybody does. Um, and some of them are formulated to stay on the skin. And I know that that's like incredibly convenient for a lot of people. And this is not something I would ever want to leave on my skin in a pinch because it just has kind of a soapy feel to it. So that was a major downfall of this, um, but I did I did use it all up. Um, it was pretty okay as far as cleansing abilities go. It was like pretty run of the mill micellar water, but that soapiness, it's kind of a deal breaker for me. Speaking of Keep Cool, another empty of the Keep Cool and Soothe Bamboo Toner. Now, you know that I have talked about this toner quite a lot um, in the past couple of years. It's been a top favorite toner of mine for a long time. And um, it's everything I like about a toner. It's light, it's watery, it's layerable, it's deeply hydrating and replenishing to dehydrated skin. You know, just no complaints here whatsoever. It's lovely. Now, you may have noticed that I don't talk that much about Keep Cool products on my channel in the past year. And there is a reason behind that. And it's not because I don't like, you know, their products, particularly the toner. Like this is such a good product. My cellar water, whatever. <laughs> but as far as the brand goes, um, you know that they did get into a little bit of controversy at the beginning of the year. And I will say this is probably something that you've already noticed about me as a content creator. My vibe is not really to like investigate all the sus things that brands do because I don't that's that's not something that is of particular interest to me in my skincare journey. However, what I will tell you is Keep Cool got into a little bit of controversy and I just personally feel like they didn't handle themselves very well. Um, I believe in giving people second chances. I just feel like they didn't really handle themselves well. And as somebody who does, you know, speak to a large audience about things that I think are worth buying, I felt uncomfortable about the brand. I feel great about the product, but I just feel kind of uncomfortable about the brand. So I just didn't want to talk about them for a while. This is the Purito Centella Unscented Toner. And this is really one of my favorite products that Purito makes. This is another lovely, deeply hydrating type of toner. This has like it's still really watery. It's still really thin and lightweight, but this has just a little bit, just a little bit more body to it. Just a whisper more <laughs> than the Keep Cool does. So it just like really fills your skin with lots of plumping hydration. Plus there is a nice kind of like, 
soothing effect from the Centella. Laneige Cream Skin Refiner. Talk about an OG favorite product that you might not have heard a lot about from me lately, right? And no, it's not because Laneige did anything. <laughs> I have no problems with this product whatsoever. Um, so, you know, I've loved this for a long time. It's a very nourishing, moisturizing toner. Um, it feels very comforting and soothing on very dry skin. It can also help with, I found it to be very helpful when my skin was kind of irritated as well. So love this product um, for quite a few years, been through quite a few bottles. However, you know that like my, almost like my love almost shifted to the Dr. Seracle um, Kombucha Tea Essence, which actually is right here. <laughs> but I just find the texture a little bit more appealing year round because it's creamy, it's moisturizing, but it's not as overly rich because sometimes Laneige can feel a little greasy. It can sometimes feel a little overwhelming. My skin is combination. Um, I do deal with a lot of dryness, but all that being said, I do still have oily areas. So sometimes this can be a little bit too much. While it's perfect for what's feeling dry, it can kind of overwhelm my T-zone and things like that, where the Dr. Seracle just like kind of has worked in all seasons for me really, really well. So I'm kind of in a dilemma because Dr. Seracle's Almost Empty, which has been amazing in springtime, in summertime, in fall time. I've been using it now. It's been working perfectly. But my skin also really does well with Laneige Cream Skin Refiner in wintertime, which is the season we're in right now, and my skin's feeling really dry. So I'm at a dilemma because I need a moisturizing toner slash essence, but which one do I buy? Because I'm only going to buy one. I'm not going to waste, you know, and buy all the skincare that I can't use. So I'm not sure. Stay tuned. Sioris Day by Day Cleansing Gel. And I've actually had this um, for a really long time and this has been sitting shower side for me recently. I really like this. It's a very light type of foaming gel cleanser. It is a pH of 5.5, but quite honestly, I do feel like this can be a touch drying for my skin. Um, as the seasons change, so does my skin type. Um, in the summertime, I'm a lot more oily and I can handle those types of cleansers that have that take just a little extra moisture from my skin um i can deal with that more during that season than i can like right now late late fall early winter so that's kind of where my review on this cleanser stands i really like it it feels great on the skin it is gentle but i think this is geared a little bit more towards those on the oily side if you're a little bit more dry if you're sensitive to moisture um being lost through cleansing, this may not be the best option for you, but it's still a very nice cleanser. This is the Hero Cosmetics Clear Collective Exfoliating Jelly Cleanser. So I discovered this through a sponsorship that I did with Hero Cosmetics on the launch of this Clear Collective line. So this has some AHA in it. It is very, very, very gently exfoliating to the skin. And I do find like when I want just a hint of exfoliation, but I don't want to go like full-blown treatment I find cleansers to be a really nice option because they do tend to give just that really nice little hit of exfoliation without usually going too far for my sensitive skin and I just use it like once twice a week right so this has actually been sitting uh, shower side as well and this is something that I reach for like right after working out because if I don't wash up and and clean my skin really well I will break out <laughs> especially on my back and my chest so that's kind of where this has uh, played a role in my skincare routine and why I really liked it because it's gentle it's just that little bit of exfoliation that you can use occasionally or if you you want daily exfoliation you could use this every single day and of course the bioderma sensa bio micellar water now this is the micellar water I'd really recommend trying out. I like this one because this is the fragrance-free version and it feels really nice. It feels kind of hydrating on the skin. It doesn't have that soapy residue to it. If you wanted to not rinse after using this product, I think you'd be okay to do so. I always do just because that's what feels right to me, right? Um, but I really like this one so, so much. And I didn't, I didn't buy this like backup yet um, because I do have a full bottle 
of the Rovectin micellar water right here, which is another favorite of mine. Um, and that's a great K-Beauty um, alternative. So I really like that one too. I might like the Bioderma just a touch better, but I am super happy to rotate between the two and you will see this one again soon. All right, next up serums. And I have so many empties here and so much propolis. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing about me. You will never have to guess what my favorite ingredients are because they just show up time after time after time in my videos and this is one of them. So we'll start with the By Wish Trend Polyphenols in Propolis 15% Ampule. Another one is empty. I don't know how many it's been. Um, I've emptied quite a few over the years and yes, I do. I bought the backup already. Um, you know what? I actually haven't opened it just yet, but it will probably be open soon. Another one that I really like is from Cosrx. It is the Propolis Light Ampule. And um, I, I would disagree with the name. <laughs> I think it's more of a medium ampule. Um, it's like a medium uh, gel textured serum that's a little bit hydrating, a little bit moisturizing, but it definitely has that medium feel on the skin. This doesn't work as well like for acne because the By Wish Trend one has been uh, formulated with like some great anti-inflammation, antibacterial kind of like acne fighters. Um, but this Cosrx um, ampule is a lot simpler. It's just more focused on the propolis. And so it brings the hydration and the moisture, the balance to the skin, the soothing effect to the skin, and it also brings that glow. Propolis is really famous for um, really making your skin very glowy and lit from within. And that's actually what made me fall in love with the ingredient nearly 10 years ago. It's almost been 10 years. Propolis was one of the very first um, kind of parts of my early K-beauty regimes. But this Cosrx one is just a beautiful example of just focusing in on, on propolis and its benefits. Now, another medium type of propolis ampule that I really enjoy is the Beauty of Joseph on glow serum it's propolis and niacinamide and here i emptied a little mini um, that i have of this and this is another one that's really good for fighting pimples it just has a much thicker moisturizing texture than the by wish trend does and so i emptied the mini and i was like oh yeah i remember how good this is and so i actually it's on the other side of my um my organizer right now but i'm actually using the full size version now so yeah, main takeaway here is I love propolis. <laughs> Another longtime favorite is the Claire's Fundamental Watery Oil Drop, and I really enjoy this serum so much. You've heard me recommend it quite a bit, right? I think this is my third or fourth empty bottle. I'm not exactly sure, but it, one of those numbers sounds about right. And I do have another bottle. I haven't opened it yet, but I do have another one because this is something that my skin just really enjoys. Like I just really like having this around because it's um, it actually doesn't have any oil in it, um, but it does have like a balancing property to it, which is great for combination skin. So it hydrates, but it has that little bit of non-greasy uh, moisture, just a little bit of balance. Um, and that's really why they put the name oil in, in the name. It's supposed to bring like all the benefits of oil without the drawbacks. So it's not heavy, it's not greasy, it's not, not gonna make you shiny, but it brings that little bit of balancing nourishment to your skin. Jam-packed full of antioxidants, lots of skin healthy ingredients. But what I really love about this is it plumps my skin up. <laughs> it makes it, I always say it's, it makes it feel bouncy and juicy, right? It's one of those like serums that just makes your skin feel so good underneath your fingertips. And I also emptied the Polish Choice Omega Plus Complex Serum. And speaking of complex, I feel like I have complex feelings about this. If I was not so like deeply, madly in love with Stradia Liquid Gold, I think that this would probably be a holy grail product for me. It's focused on ceramides, cholesterol, fatty acids, and in fact, the fatty acids that they've included in here have really good omega um, complexes to them. So lots of omega-3, 6, and 9 fatty acids, which are so good for your skin health. And so I love the formulation of this. I like that it's kind of like a creamy type of serum texture. It feels nice and moisturizing, but again, not like really greasy on the skin. And it makes your skin feel super strong. Like it does what it's supposed to do. It strengthens your skin's moisture barrier. 
but you know my loyalty and like my feelings about like Stradia Liquid Gold like I'm just I have deep emotional ties to that product I use it every single day and I have since 2018 <laughs> it's like we go deep we're in a long-term relationship and so like I said if I hadn't discovered that first and had such deep feelings about it this would probably be my you know my liquid gold right um but it's not so um if for whatever reason i couldn't get stradia this is what i would this is what i would use next this would be my next choice it is that good i have a couple of oil empties here the first one is the be happy calming oil this is from the brand 76 n1 and they're like a really independent korean brand that i discovered on yes style just about a year ago um and i really like this oil it's a blend of camellia oil or like subaki oil and um hemp seed oil so it's really moisturizing um it's really moisturizing it's got like a, a a heftiness like a thickness to it um and it has a little bit of a soothing calming effect on the skin too you know when your skin's like dry and a little bit irritated and you put that like soothing moisturizing product on it and it's like your skin's just like it just calms down it just feels good that's what this oil did for my skin especially when i first started using it i also have the good molecules ultra hydrating facial oil that i just emptied now this is tinier this is a 13 mil of oil and i kind of like that size because I have a lot of open oil right now um but it takes me a long time to finish them so i kind of like this because it's like a bite size like manageable amount of facial oil so this is sea buckthorn oil and i think this is also yeah it's also camellia or subaki oil this is very thick i think this is probably the thickest oil that i have tried and reviewed here on my channel it feels great but it's kind of thick so it's not for every season and how my skin fluctuates. So this is a little bit more of a winter time product, but I really like it. Um, it's got this deep golden color to it and it is very nourishing for the skin. Oh, speaking of good molecules, I do have an empty of the caffeine energizing hydrogel eye patches. I really like these. These are fragrance free eye patches, which is super rare to find um these really plump up the under eye area so it's great to put on like before a special event or before your makeup to just kind of like smooth the under eye really hydrate it and plump it up let's talk about moisturizers and i only have a few because i've just been rotating through a bunch it takes me a while to finish moisturizers so first is the Cosrx d panthenol cream and i love this moisturizer you've heard me talk about this a lot in the past it's a really nice airy type of cream it hydrates and plumps your skin it moisturizes it it has a nice um occlusivity to it that's really breathable and this is something that my skin really appreciates in fall and spring it's not a heavy duty moisturizer it's not the light lightest moisturizer it's just in between it's just right you know for combination skin um especially when your your combination skin's a little bit more balanced you're not leaning super dry or super oily that's when it's perfect because it's just so breathable but it really like protects and comforts your skin and just this really like the word that i use to describe this is always airy because that's how it feels on my skin so i really really like this one and panthenol you know very soothing um ingredient and really great for dehydrated skin and then we have the purito dermide Sika barrier sleeping pack now this is a sleeping pack you could use it as a moisturizer and it does have like that creamy moisturizing feel on the skin but it is um, a little bit lighter um, it's not super duper heavy moisturizing so you could use this as your nighttime moisturizer or on top of a different moisturizer and it's just got that right type of texture that doesn't overwhelm the skin in my personal opinion and i have another empty of the la roche posay lipicar balm ap plus now i use this mainly as my body moisturizer it's very thick it's very nourishing uh, very protective on the skin this can be used on your face it's too heavy for my face um, I've tried it on my face <laughs> especially I actually so I was using this on my face um, last month because I was going through a really extreme dryness um, as the temperatures were dropping and I did put it on my face and it felt good in the moment and then it felt bad down the road because it, it kind of congested my skin um so sometimes i can put this on and it's fine but i just can't use it long term it's just too heavy for my skin this is really designed for very dry skin which describes my body 
as much as I complain about it, it does not describe my face. Um, I have combination skin that goes dry. I don't have traditionally dry skin. So, but my body is very traditionally dry and this is like butter. It feels so good. It makes my skin so silky soft. It keeps it conditioned and moisturized and protected and uh, no more ashy knees and elbows. <laughs> Speaking of body products, I have a few in here. First is the Pixi Glycolic Body Peel. So this has some um, AHA in it and it has a very fine um, physical exfoliant in here, like very, very fine, almost like sand type of exfoliation. Um, this is okay. This is an okay product. Um, this was actually sent to me for free. Um, I This is not something I would normally pick out for myself because it does have quite a heavy fragrance on it. Now I don't mind fragranced uh, body products. That doesn't usually irritate my body skin, but I don't use fragrance on my face just because of sensitivities. Um, but all that being said, I don't like the smell of this product. It's a very heavy, floral like cloying kind of scent that I just don't enjoy at all and it's it's very heavy next up is the bioderma atoderm body cleansing oil now this is not the type of cleansing oil that you would use necessarily to remove your makeup it's not like a first cleanser this is a, a nourishing oil based cleanser <laughs> for dry skin. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Um, so I don't think you use this to remove your makeup, but you use this to nourish dry skin and oh, this feels so good. So my best friend sent this to me. She lives in Toronto and, um, we do have bioderma products here but it's just like it's a little harder to get them than like say la roche posay but like i guess bioderma is like pretty much a staple brand um in canada so she sent this to me she's like i know you have dry skin you're gonna love this and i fell in love with it oh my goodness such a good pick um it feels so nourishing on my skin there is a little bit of fragrance in here but unlike the pixie it doesn't bother my nose it's like a very light baby powder type of scent, which I find somewhat pleasant. It doesn't really linger, so I don't mind it that much, but this is, it just like envelops your skin, not greasy, but just a little bit of that oil moisture. And um, I do find sometimes like when I shave my legs, um, they can get really irritated. And when I just put like a layer of this after shaving, the irritation just goes away. Um, so this is a wintertime staple and I was so excited because this is like a, a kind of small bottle that I milked. <laughs> I nursed this bottle to the very end and I found a giant bottle on Target online um, that I ordered and it's huge and it's going to uh, help me get through this winter because this is a must for dry skin. I have a couple of empties here of Curology. This is how I get my tretinoin prescription. I'm still going strong with Curology um, and I get a, a new bottle like every two months. Next up is the Bioderma Sensa Bio Mask. And you know I'm obsessed with this. <laughs> so this is a wash off mask that like infuses your skin with soothing, calming moisture. It really is geared towards helping with sensitivity, irritation, itchiness, um, and redness. It really just soothes all of that. And it's kind of got like cold cream type of texture. Um, so it's not like really, really rich and heavy on your skin. It just brings this really nice, calming, comforting moisture um, to the skin. And then when you wash it off, you just have a little bit of moisture infused in your skin to start off the rest of your skincare routine. I love it. It's a real must for my sensitive skin that can get easily inflamed, easily red and irritated. This just soothes it in a really nice way. This first one I got from a, a sponsorship that I did with Skin Store. I picked this out um, online and they sent it to me and that's when I discovered it and really fell in love with it. And when this bottle started to get a little bit empty is when I started looking for buying the replacement. And remember when I was saying like Bioderma is kind of hard to track down? Um, it's getting easier. It's it's becoming a lot um, easier to find. But for whatever reason, this sense of bio mask maybe isn't as popular as their other products. I don't know. So I went back to skin store and I was like, I'm going to buy this. And then I couldn't find it on their website. I don't know if it's in stock now, but I had to buy it on Look Fantastic. Um, I just find that like not every place that carries Bioderma carries this mask. So I'm just setting you up for the fact that it might be hard to track down. I will try to put the most accurate, relevant links in the info box for it. But let me tell you, don't get frustrated. It's worth seeking out. At the end of every empties video, I'm just like, oh. 
because it's like epic reviewing product after product after product. But I love doing empty videos. I know you love watching them. Um, they're really some of my favorite uh, skincare videos because it's like you really know how a product works once you've emptied it. So I'm curious if you've emptied anything recently. Let me know in the comment box below. If you made it to the end of the video, you have not hit subscribe yet, please consider hitting subscribe to my channel. I release a lot of new skincare content throughout the week. So do consider turning on notifications too. So you're never out of the loop when I drop the new videos. I hope you are healthy, happy, and safe, and I can't wait to see you soon. Bye.